On the border in southern Lebanon, the militants hide in the valleys. The Israelis spy from the towers. And a band of Irish soldiers try to keep the peace on the ground. Their presence here, part of a multinational commitment to preventing conflict in one of the most dangerous spots in the world. But the last couple of weeks have been tough. Initially, in the first weeks, it was very localised to the Blue Line. Uh, more lately, it has escalated. Uh, it is moving deeper into Lebanon. There are a wider range of weapons with greater lethality being used by both sides. This is, this is what you're seeing, what this, you're this, witnessing. This is our observation, uh, and our concern with that is all-out war, uh, and, and our concern is that we are progressing uh, towards that. A key objective of their UN mission, detect and deter hostile fire, and Irish troops use two outposts on the frontier to do it. But at the moment, it's a challenge just to get there. This is the safest way to move around close to the border, but it's not risk-free. We've been told we may not reach the Irish post on the blue line if the firing starts. Militant groups like Hezbollah have ramped up their attacks and the Israelis are responding in kind. Members of the Irish unit have been watching it in real time. It appears that both, both sides are, say, playing chess. The moves are calculated and in response to each other, to one another's moves. Really? It's like playing chess? <laughs> as, as far as we can tell. Hostile fire from both sides has come perilously close to their outpost. Like this house, which was hit by shells from an Israeli tank, the occupants sought medical care from the Irish. But there's only so much these soldiers can do. It, is it frustrating when the bombs and rockets are passing overhead and, and you, can't, you can't really do anything? It can be frustrating, but our mission here is, is peacekeeping. We can't enforce peace upon anyone. It has to be wanted on both sides. Our mission here is, like I said, monitor, assist and support. Despite the presence of peacekeepers, the majority of civilians have been evacuated, some 13,000 now accommodated in Lebanese schools. And many have been here for a month. Farah's children are sick with fever and eye infections, but she can't nurse them at home. I can't go back. Yesterday, I wanted to check on my mother, but they were bombing all the time. We spent 10 minutes there and we had to run away. This school represents something of a sanctuary, but the border war is getting closer and an all-out clash would consume this country. John Sparks, Sky News in southern Lebanon.